Hi folks, um, how you guys doing? And I just wanted to talk to you about my server case. This is a Fractal R5 white and I think it looks so pretty. Um, however, um, long story short, there was a um, AMD AT, uh, 8350 in there, uh, but then um, uh, I've upgraded my my workstation, which is the dual Xeon. That's um, that video is still in progress, and that build is still in progress. But in the meantime, the um, Intel uh, 3930K, um, I needed the power of that to do some editing. Unfortunately, the AMD 8350 has got some grunt, but yeah, this 3930K. It's almost twice as fast. It's ridiculous. So when I'm rendering the videos, I need that kind of power. Anyway, no, sorry, I'm waffling. What I've got in here at the moment is uh, the. Actually, what I'll do, I'll open the case and then come back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, yeah. So uh, this is a Cooler Master uh, 212 um, cooler, and it's fantastic. I really think it's one of the best budget. Um, air coolers you can get. Um, I've got a Noctua NHD14 in another build, uh, but for long story short, um, that's that's for another project that I'm working on. Anyway, um, this cooler has been fantastic. It's, it's doing its job, but unfortunately, uh, when I did, well, what I'll do now. I'll show you this. Um, so I'm running um, Boink at the moment. It's running SETI. It's all kind of maxing out. Um, everything's 100%. Um, as you can see there, but the temps when I had the cover on uh, was going up to the uh, high 60s, some of them, and I was like, well, that's still within the limits. But yesterday I went out and I and left it running, and I um, I remote remotely connected back to this computer to see how it was doing, and one of the temps was touching on the high 80s, which is approaching a thermal limit, and I didn't want to go there. So what I'm going to do, uh, well. It's it's fine, but I I don't like fine. I want to do I want to do really well. So what I'm going to do is replace this 2012. That's 2012. This um, 212 cooler with a EK L2 two. Start again. EK L240 water kit. Um, I bought that for a bargain, of just under 100 quid on eBay. So. Um, yeah, persistence, guys. Just keep looking, keep looking, keep looking, and it'll, and it will turn up. So um, it's gonna. I'm gonna put a um, 240 rad up there. I'm gonna put the reservoir there, and obviously the water block's gonna go right in the middle. Now I could um, call the the GTX 980. I haven't decided when I do that because um, I don't need to do that. This isn't really, this isn't this isn't really a gaming rig. I just want this to be my secondary workstation and server so these are oh yeah these are um eight is it eight yeah eight western digital greens yeah i know you're thinking greens are rubbish but this is just a uh it's a it is a server but it's not and it is the primary server but i've got another server it's a synology 1010 nas box that's in another location so if this all goes down then it's fine but this is in configured in uh, um, in uh, Windows 10 storage it's using storages so it's basically yeah, in an array and it's like 2x2 two two. so um, basically these four are copied by these four so it's, it's duplicates and um, it's all powered by this little uh, LSI RAID controller well when I say RAID it doesn't do RAID 5 but it's pretty fast it's all, oh, it's all hooked up there. Anyway, uh, that's enough waffling. I'll get back to you when I've got, when I'll make progress. Years by Dad's bronchitis, and then there it was, right on schedule, glorious photo go. I wanted you to know that I'm on this day. Cracking up, right? So from here, we'll jump to a green screen shot of you laughing, too. And I'll take that and drop it into a pre-existing shot of a table full of stomach acid right now. I'm sorry to be so sad about it. Just... Like that okay, one thing that really attracted me to this um, kit was the fact that you can mount um, the pump and reservoir on this little platform that they supply for you. So, unfortunately, I, I did initially want to keep the fan in there, but it's so tight with the um, radiator 
Um, unfortunately, I, there's, there's no more room. Okay, I've put the, well, just temporarily just put one screw in so it holds in. Um, I've hit a problem. Um, the pump and reservoir obviously, you know, fits, but look how close, I don't know if you can see, but look how close the pump and res, well, so this is the uh, outlet. That's the top of the of the radiator, and this is the top of the other uh, radiator inlet outlet, and it's too close uh, to the reservoir. So I really don't know how I'm going to do this, because even if I had, whoops, even if I had a right angle or even a 45 degree angle, there's no escaping the fact that this is way too close. Put down here, I can't put it down at the bottom, but it just looks so stupid. You know, there'd be whack and grippy pipe going all the way down the bottom, and no other way to feed the pipe, the tube, uh, behind um, the motherboard. There's no, there's nowhere for me to to root it. Uh, so yeah, that's my dilemma at the moment. Uh, okay, see how we go. Okay. So, this is my current solution. Um, I can't use that bracket uh, to mount the pump and res, even though I would love to, there's just no way of making that fit. I turned the rad around so that the fittings are now this side, and so that everything's a little bit tidier. Um, what I've done is I've left the pipe, the, the tube, a little bit longer than necessary. Because ultimately, I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'm going to where I'm going to mount that. Sorry, and also, if I cut it, if I cut the tubing too tight, I'm never going to get that card out without having to, I don't know, um, kind of drain the system, which I really don't want to do. Um, so yeah, that's 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 the solution at the moment. I'm I'm about to uh, fill the res and do a leak test. I leak test for about 20 minutes. I did have a leak there, but because with this with this res, um, the, you need an extension um, extension fitting. So this here is an extension, and this is the L band. Uh, I need to order another one of those because that feels a bit wobbly. But what I've done is exactly what I said. I uh, originally the the um, uh, the radiator block uh, fitting was this side. I moved it over to this side, so it's a little bit tidier. A little bit cramped in here, but that's fine. Uh, the water block seems to be doing fine. There's no leaks so far, but I'll keep my eye on that. Uh, that I've just dismantled the ray card so it boots quicker. Uh, but yeah, everything seems uh, particularly booed so far. Let's have a look at the temps. Um, the temps at the moment is what we're we going. Uh, 53 seems is the highest, uh, which where we're about. So. We're about, well, 20 degrees, 20 to 5 degrees lower. Right, folks, uh, probably the final update now. Uh, try, I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but um, everything's working fine. But um, these fans, these are the EK fans that came with the um, recording kit. Um, they're quite loud, and they're not PWM, so they're only 3-pin. So no matter what I do to my um, fan controller, it does absolutely nothing to the fan. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fit these. Now, um, these are, are they Cougars? Yeah, I'm sure they're Cougars. Uh, but more importantly, well, no, not importantly, but one of the things, where's the thing? They have four pins. Can you focus on that? Can you focus on that? Yeah, no, no. anyway, but it has four pins. Um, so I can control um, the speeds a little bit better. Um, that's the idea anyway. So I'm going to install these up there and then see what the temps are. Right, the final part of the video. Um, 
So, what have we got here? Uh, it's been a week since the server's been built and um, nothing's really changed since uh, the last video uh, part. Um, I just wanted to show you the kind of finished thing. There's a bit of cable tidying to do there, but when I put the, the lid on, or the side, case, side panel on, you can't see that mess. There's some cable tidying to do there. Uh, with the that that's the pump power pump power um, but everything is really tickety boo really um, really happy with this um, I, I am a, I'm not concerned but around this area here underneath the the GPU it does feel when we'll put my hand there feel much warmer than that which is great because obviously. Uh, the fans are pulling the air out, pushing the air out. I'm wondering if maybe I need another fan here somehow to keep that raid card. Oh, there is, where is it? that raid card there, um, nice and cool. Because raid cards typically get quite hot in my other rig, in my Jaws Zeon rig. The raid card in there, the Adaptec 6805, need active cooling. Otherwise, it gets quite hot. Without it, it will go well above its recommended 50 degrees C. Now, I can't tell what temperature that is. The software doesn't tell me, but that does feel pretty warm. And it's literally right. And it's literally sandwiched right next to the, um, the 980. Now, you might be saying, why don't I stick it into the other two? slots well because that card doesn't work in any other slot it has to it works in that one which is nuts so yeah anyway uh yeah i'm very pleased with this build very happy um with the setup uh, something that i also need to point out what i remember is that water right that water there i filled it up um a week ago pretty much what about from about there, from the end of my finger, and as you can see, within a week, it's gone down to a half. Now I'm worried. Is that is that a leak, or or what? Because I don't know why it's doing that. Um, I mean, naturally the water will will have, will kind of evaporate, but not in a week. Not it won't. It shouldn't go down that much in a week. So I have no idea what's going on there. I've checked for leakages and that kind of stuff. I can't feel anything. Nothing seems to be, there's no, there doesn't seem to be any kind of spots or anything like that. So I'm gonna top that up, but I keep a keep an eye on it. And then see how quickly it goes down. Uh, yeah, it shouldn't go down that quickly. The reservoir shouldn't be, that shouldn't be happening. But anyway, I'm very happy with build. Um, I won't be building anything for a while because um, well, I've got enough computers in the house. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, build log. Let me know what you think. Um, what improvements would you do? What do you think I've got right? What do you think I've got wrong? And bear in mind, this is a server that just so happens to have a 980 in it. Um, the reason being, the other rig has two 780s in it, but they're water cooled. And until I find a water block for this, I'm not going to put it in the other one because um, I like water cooling. Right, that's it, guys. Uh, comment below and uh, catch you in the next one.